Hello, internet. I'm not gonna call you guys YouTube no more because I seen all over Instagram they're reposting my vlogs. It's kind of funny. Uh, we are in the car, me and Mrs. Johnson. Well, I'm not gonna show. We are going to the GMC dealer, which is also a Buick and Cadillac dealer. Uh, we are going there to browse the vehicle list. Uh, we had nothing else to do. We was bored. Uh, wasn't really doing anything in the house. So we're going to go browse the vehicles that are out. See if anything catches our eye. I don't know if you guys seen the last vlog. My door handle broke a few vlogs ago. I showed you how my engine was making weird noise. So Unfortunately, uh, my truck went for eight years, and I don't think it wants to go anymore, so we're going to go see what they got over there, hang out, crack up. You guys, you're watching G-Vlog. Gypsies looking at that truck. They're better not. Yeah, and they, I think this is their truck. I think they're looking to get a new truck like us. Let me see if she has all the time. Oh yeah, I was right. See, I told you. They're doing the same thing. Oh no, they're leaving. Yeah, uh, you want to go in the dealer or? What do you think of this one? Well, this, this one is a Gajos, it's not. Uh, yeah, but we're not going to touch it. I'm just saying this is like the big one. Yeah, the AC is no. too big. I know this is what you probably like really want me to have, but wait a bit. No, oh, yeah, truck. It dwarfs my truck. How you doing, boss? So this is the truck that Lena was telling me about. Wow, what a truck. <laughs> it's pretty nice, I gotta say the truth. 64.9. This is the new thing, the way it opens. Yeah, this is the new tailgate that we see. Yeah, you press it a few times and it opens up like that. Wow. And it's available on the SL, and this has a speaker to install. So, wow. It has speakers, yeah. There's a radio in there too. Separate from the truck, so you can play them while the truck is off and everything. Amazing. Oh, so you could put this yeah, on. Yeah, you while could the park. Off. You know what this is for? You're parking. You have a nice little barbecue somewhere. Yeah, it's for tailgating. Back this up. Yeah. Wow, that yeah. is nice. You got the holders. Like it's, it was meant for that. <laughs> wow. That is crazy. Look at Lena. You could plug your phone right here. Charge it. To the yeah. That's amazing. That is amazing. We could plug in our blender, make some smoothies. <laughs> exactly. Now, there's an option where you can make these the same color as the, as the truck, so if you don't like that, it won't have to be the black. But I think it looks nice. Yeah, and this one has a very nice truck. Has a drop down step. Also be adjusted to so want to get up easier. Yeah, moving in and out. Wow, that, that is that is awesome. That is crazy. A lot of things on this truck. You think you? so different from my truck. Yeah. <laughs> Been driving one truck for seven years straight, so it's like so... Uh, it's Look how much room you have. Wow, it's, it's nice way bigger. Line. And the rear is so It's got the bigger. wireless phone charger right there. It's got it everything. It's a wireless charger. Yep. 
Well, you definitely have room. That's like crazy. Uh, that that that's actually a camera that's looking back at all times. And also, this has the biggest heads up display that we have in any vehicle. So all the inf all the driving information, like your miles per hour, your navigation, everything is right on the windshield. Now, is there any options that this, like from my truck to this one, that would would be missing, or this pretty much has it all covered already? Oh yeah, I'm sure this has auto everything, covered right? Because I know I have this, I have the well, my truck don't have Bluetooth, which is crazy. Because yeah, in 2011, it had it everything. Has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Yeah, this truck has everything. There's maybe a four wheel drive, which this one that's right here is not a four wheel drive. Uh -huh. Um, yeah, mine's is from Jersey, so it's definitely yeah, four-wheel drive. Yeah, yeah. We, we have four-wheel drives in this truck. It's just you have to, um, it's got to come from factory mm -hmm. that way. And, so this is a regular two-wheel. Yeah, this is a 5.3 liter V8 uh, versus if you wanted a four-wheel drive, you, opt in, you have to opt in for the 6.2 um, bigger engine. And that's more like the one that you have, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think you have a 6.2 liter. Yeah, but I don't want the bigger engines too yeah. much gas. <laughs> yeah, this is a more, much, much more efficient engine. My truck, I think, gets me... 10 or 12 miles a gallon. Yeah, this is getting you 19. It's, it's a very efficient V8, and it does go into four cylinders. Um, yeah, when you're on like highway doing right. one speed, right? Yeah. Yeah. So my cousin has a truck similar to this. He was telling me that's what his truck does. See, my truck back seat is so small. Yeah, check this out. This is the biggest, <laughs> that's the biggest change this year is the back seat. It's a lot of space. Wow. A lot of space. That's like that gigantic. is pretty big. The truck is also about 600 pounds lighter than the previous generation, so it's a lot quicker, and that's why it's more gas uh, fuel efficient. So look, you got the stuff right back here again. You're right. Everything. The kids would drive us crazy. Oh, all my kids, if they was to see this compartment <laughs> over here, yeah, we would never hear the end of it. Dad, I left something in the car. I hide it in that seat <laughs> thing again. Could you go get it out? Yeah, every seat has. <laughs> <laughs> Every seat has them. Yeah, this is what I'm used to, the little cup holder thing in the middle. I can't believe how huge your back seat is. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god. More room for the children to make a mess. And this is why this is the go-to vehicle right now, trucks. Um, because it's just as big as an SUV. They're drives extremely comfortable, I mean, without a doubt. If this drives like a Yukon Denali like or an Escalade. It's nice. It's very nice, I gotta say the truth. I don't know if I recorded it when I was inside, but definitely the truck in person compared to pictures and video is two complete differences. I don't know if it's just eye brain the way I saw it on video, but seeing the truck on a TV and then seeing the truck in person is two completely different things. It's amazing. The truck was nice, I have to say the truth. It was a very, very nice truck. Tiralo Gajo Mensa. Wow, that is a nice color. Now the tailgate, that's just standard on all of them, I'm guessing. On the that, SLT and above. Okay. So there is some uh, Sierras that don't have it. Correct. Wow, what a nice color. Zero, zero blind spots on this truck. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys, I'm 6'4", right? I got a pretty decent sized hand, pretty decent sized mitten. That's crazy. A few moments later. So we just got out of the dealer. I got the gentleman's card. Uh, what's my opinion on the truck? Truck is Give it sickening. A dog's score. Uh, the ride was okay. I never drove it. The truck was beautiful. I have to say that. That was, pictures and video do not do the truck justice at all. What's my worries about the truck? Okay, worry number one, getting in payments again. Just got out of uh, 
paying this truck off, this Escalade EXT from 2011. We paid it off 1100 and like change. I think $1,110 for seven years straight. The reason I'm not sure exactly how much, because I did the Western Union payment and they charge you like a fee to pay the payment. So the payment could have been 1100 plus whatever the Western Union fee was. But so we paid 1100 a month for seven years straight. I just got out of payments about, oh, that's too loud. Just got out of payments about- Two years ago. Well, two years ago, what, five months ago, six months ago. I don't know how Bob, me and you was married, I was paying payments. The only two payments you paid in the last two. Yes. Well, I could Google it and see what was last payment. You stopped paying it in either July or January. So I haven't paid payments since of almost two years, a year and a half, almost two years. Do I want to put myself in payments again? That's the biggest concern to me. Uh, concern number two, I don't know how much they would give me for this truck. He's saying these trucks, they give you a decent price, but obviously they got to turn around and sell it and make a profit. Do we have food home? But oh my god, your mother made soup. I don't know if you're gonna eat that. Yeah, 100 degrees outside. That's what I wanna do. I wanna eat soup. Anyways, back to what I was saying. The truck is beautiful. Do I wanna trade in a truck that I just paid off of seven years of payments to get a truck again, either to lease it, which would be, I don't know, sounds crazy to me, trade in a truck that you just paid off and now you're renting a truck from a dealer. And if I finance it again, that's gonna be another five, six, seven years of payments again. But this truck and Taylor like grew up together. Like, I don't know. I don't know if you guys could tell on video, but like, this is a really hard decision for me. And it's like really emotionally uh, stressful. Emotionally stressful, is that a thing? Did I just invent that? Emotionally stressful. Principal, I already paid this off. Why am I going into payments again? <sighs> Don't know what to do. A few moments later. Colors. Last budget. Now we're leaving. Turn it over. What is up, everybody? It's me, Leo, and I got a bandage on my finger. <laughs>
walked out of church. I'm gonna get in this truck that I don't know how much longer I'm gonna have it for. Get out of here. Forgot to get money from the house. Literally got $15 in my wallet. <laughs> that was a smart move. <sighs> so, I'm gonna take these kids, get them something to eat real quick. After I open this break down the door. <laughs> gonna get these kids something to eat. And then go home. I guess that's it for now. Thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the Mega G vlog. I'm Kevin Gannett and family. We'll catch you guys in the next one. God bless, peace out, surfs up, whatever.